finally, there you are. I thought I'd find you here. I kind of know the island. You used to come every summer when we were kids. I see that not much changed. This place is still depressing. And what are you doing here all alone? Thing. I guess I don't want to go back either. At least just yet. I will seriously get sick to my stomach if I see one more guy flirting with Tai Li. Those boys don't like her because she makes it so easy for them. She's not a challenge, she's a tease. It's not like they actually care who she is. We just said it because I'm well I'm a little jealous. For some reason when I meet boys I act as if I'm going to do something horrible to them. Well, probably I would, but they don't know about that. Nobody knows who we are here. Chen and I could have been the strongest couple in the entire world. We could have dominated the earth. But he turned out to be a quitter and a loser. I'm so used to people worshipping us. I just wanted to see how people would treat us if they didn't know who we were. And I'm slightly disappointed. Hmm. Okay then, it's your turn. What actually brought you here? It's not like I want to hear, but anything is better than that so-called party. So I will listen. You go ahead. Oh, really? can't relate. Wait, is that it? I still don't see why that makes you so upset. You shouldn't even care about it at the first place. I bet it's just your insecurity is acting up again. 
Well, I guess you're right. I wouldn't understand. Because I don't have insecurities or sub stories like all of you. I guess you don't complain how our mom likes Zuko more than me. But I don't really care. My own mother. Zuko was a monster. She was right, of course, but it still hurts. She was kind of the only thing I couldn't succeed. Her attention and love were the only things I cared to get. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I wanted or needed any of those things. I'm a firebending pool today. Why would I need such foolish things? What I don't like about it is Zuko did have those. My good for nothing brother somehow managed to make that lady like him, but I couldn't. I don't think it's my bad though. She probably just related to him on being weak and pathetic. Yes. Obviously, she was pathetic. What kind of a mother do you think leaves her children behind? Not a good one. Well, I assume she wasn't a good mother back then, but even I was surprised when she left without saying a thing overnight. Hmm. Hmm. But she did talk to Zuko. And told him how much she loved him. Well, that didn't stop her from leaving him behind either. At least she said goodbye to him. I mean, Zuko told so. I believe he was telling the truth. Lying is not really his thing. He can't even have a conversation without getting caught up by hysteria. Lying would be too complicated for him. Ugh. Him and Uncle Eric keep bringing shame to the Fire Nation. During the war, Uncle Eric found out his son died and just fell apart. A real general would stay and burn the boss and stay to the ground. But his tea loving cookiness lost the battle and came home crying. Glad he didn't end up being the Fire Lord. It's not like he could have stand a chance against Dad. He is a quitter and a loser. Mom was too. I'm glad she left. I got to have a lot of fun with Zuko. Without his mummy, things were pretty difficult for him in the palace. Good thing that taught him a permanent lesson on his face and exiled him. But since we're on good terms with him now, I will stop telling you how deplorable Zuko is. And back to your problem, I guess. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear loving armor so it can never be used to hurt you. And better embrace your insecurities soon. You seriously are the only person who sees them. If anyone told you you're not good or enough, believe me, they're no better. And I wouldn't hesitate to bring them down if needed. Understood. Good. Let's head back now on board.
You know what would make this trip really memorable? We got some bad news, Chan. 